Today, I'm using Vicky, my insulated vertical reverse flow smoker to do some chicken wings and some lamb. Hey, yo, this is Dash. Get ready. So today, I have some chicken wings that I paid way too much money for because I had to get them from the giant. And I had, I have a boneless leg of lamb. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and get these things seasoned. I'll see you guys back out at the smoker. Every time I start a fire and get my grills going and the smokers going, I worry that that siren is coming to my house. In case you haven't seen it, here's the video clip when helicopters came to my house. Hey yo, this is Dash, and uh, today is Friday, January 8th, 2016, and <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how quite to explain what I'm about to show you, I got a I got a dirty fire and it really wasn't a dirty fire it was just extra smoky okay and because it was extra smoky yeah the, the fire department came and not only did the fire department come I had a news chopper um, hovering above my house I only had a few moments like 30 seconds or so a video that I was able to capture because of the fact that the battery was dead so, with that being said, here's the video of the excitement. Sing quiet. <laughs> All right, so, here's my house, you can barely see. But I just started a fire, and it's during the day, and the fire department is here. I even have a helicopter circling around. Look, 
<laughs> oh my gosh, is, is it a news? I have to believe it's a news chopper. Calm down. <laughs> hey, I'm good. Everything's okay. I'm good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I actually called fire communications and let them know. Look. <laughs> So I come back out to the garage and this is what I see. Yeah, uh, Vicky definitely puts out smoke a little slowly, but I have my, I set up, I just set up the fan. So this will get cleared out in a couple minutes. Okay, so as you can see, it's rather smoky in here. So I'm not trying to be in here very long. I turned the fan off for a second so I can get the chicken and the lamb loaded. So I'm gonna get this opened up. Okay, so with with Vicky, there's four places or four shelves in here, that I, or four racks, four shelves, let's put it that way. The heat comes from down at the bottom, comes up this one side, out the top, and it hits the top of the food. So what I try not to do, unless I absolutely have to, is put something on the very top shelf. So what I'm doing is I'm moving everything down because I'm gonna put my lamb on the top shelf I'm gonna put chicken on the bottom too. Once the lamb finishes, then I'll move the chicken up uh, higher in the smoker so everything can cook faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the food in the smoker. Y'all can watch me work. So I am putting the lamb up top today because if I were to have the lamb under the chicken, because the, the lamb, the temperature of the lamb is gonna be, it's gonna be done lower than the temperature of the chicken. I don't actually want the juices and things from the chicken dripping onto the lamb because it has a lower finish temperature. Uh, if this were beef or pork, where I know the finish temperature is higher than the finish temperature of the chicken, I wouldn't have a problem leaving it or putting it underneath of the chicken. Just a little food safety type thing. Now one of the things I stress is there's right wings, this is a right wing, and there's left wings. So when the point is pointing away from you, that is, well, is it right? Yeah, that's right, okay? That's the right wing. I put the right wings on the shelf so that the tip is in the middle. I'll do the same thing with left wings on the far right side so the tip, again, is in the middle. Okay, so it's been an hour and a half and my wings are looking pretty good. My lamb is looking pretty good. Now I'm going to take this lamb and wrap it up. One of the things that I do is I provide au jus for my customers when they get the lamb. This particular customer, I know they like extra au jus. So what I do is I pull the lamb, sorry. I wrap the lamb up earlier than I would typically uh, to capture more of the au jus. Then also, what I'm going to do is take the lamb. It smells amazing. I'm going to take the lamb and wrap it up and put it down on the bottom shelf. I'm going to move my wings around so that they can uh, cook a little more evenly. The wings that were down on the bottom, I'm going to take them and move them up. And the wings that are in the middle, we're gonna leave those where they are. And I'm gonna get the lamb down in the bottom so it can finish cooking.
I also got the heat turned up just a little bit because of the fact that I had that lamb up top, I didn't want it to cook too fast. So I had the temperature to come down or the temperature turned down a little. But now that I am primarily focused on getting the wings finished, I'm gonna turn the heat up and then we'll be back out here in about another hour and a half. All right, it's been another hour and let me get you guys to the point where you can see what's going on inside of the smoker here. So you see my wings are looking fairly good. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and get them sauced. I usually come in, make sure that if there is that fat pocket there, we bust that because that will prevent the wings from crisping up. And we're also gonna get these wings that are on this level up to the top. So again, they can cook evenly. Same thing with the wings on the top, that were on the top. So at this point, I'm gonna get them sauced up and then I'll let them finish. So they're just about done. Uh, I will start temping them at this point, probably every 15, 20 minutes or every 15 minutes to a half an hour and looking at them, but they have a great color. <laughs> this is what they're supposed to look like. So I turn this down just a smidge. All right. So obviously you guys know, uh, I just let these go. I put some sauce on them, let the sauce get set. And these wings are almost about done. I could just look at the color, look at how the, the tips are slightly dried up. Um, I know they're getting close. I will tempt them in a moment, but the main thing that I need to do is to get my lamb out of here. When I want things to finish faster, I can put them on the top, turn the heat up a little bit, and we can get them finished. So I'm going to get this, move it out of the way, and then I'm going to get my wings temped. Oh yes, that lamb looks delicious. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the house and I'm gonna get, let it rest for a little while and then I will slice it up for my customer. All right, we are getting there. All right, so <clears throat> I like to take my wings to 175 degrees. It just makes sure that they're, they're really done. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move these ones that are down on the bottom. I'm gonna move them up towards the top. Move the, these ones that are up towards the top, down in the middle here. I'm gonna let those go for another few minutes. 
I will come back out, check them, and uh, we'll be back in a bit. You guys ready or what? Let's go ahead and get these wings out. Oh yeah, buddy. Take a look at these. Woo! All right, so there you have it. Vicky always, always, always comes in clutch when I need her to. Vicky, I can get the charcoal going and walk away for hours and hours and hours on end, which is why I use Vicky for smaller cooks, just like these. Uh, this today. It was 40 wings was the order and a boneless leg of lamb. So. That thing being said, I wanna thank you guys as always for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. If you like what you saw today, if you learned something, please leave me a thumbs up down below and or a comment, right? Right, right? Make sure you turn the notification bell on so you know when one of these videos goes live, as well as when and or if I start a live stream. I've been doing live streams lately, uh, every week on Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern. So join us. First hour, we talk about the topic. The second hour, we just kind of shoot the breeze and we stand out at the smoker, basically, or like we're standing out at the smoker amongst friends. And uh, bring a cold one with you. Not necessary, always optional, but definitely, definitely uh, encouraged. All right, thank you again. I'll see you guys next time.